that's not a bad fit. Whoa, that is a really good one. That's the biggest one today. Look at the size of this head. You can grab our lure at any time. He's right here. You see that? We got him. <laughs> that is so sick, man. We got him. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back. This is the first week of June. The water is finally warm enough so that we are comfortable to throw a top water bait. Uh, there's a number of top water bait I want to show you, but uh, let's start with this guy. This is the Megabass Jamaica Boa Buzz Bait. Top water lure is probably one of the loudest lure you can find among everything else, and the buzz bait is probably the loudest in the top water. This thing will make a lot of commotion on the top water, and on, on top of that, this blade it will kick on this uh, little bead here. It's a clacker. It makes a lot of this uh, clacker noise. Also, the friction between the blade and the wire makes a very unique sound to this bait. This morning is quite calm. Let's try to lift this arm a little bit so that this blade won't kick on this uh, bead anymore. Uh, just a little bit quieter this morning. Uh, when the wind picks up, I will introduce that clicker back. On this shallow area, you can actually see the grass is emerged, but over here is all grass, it's submerged. It's actually perfect for this bug bait. Oh, got one, our first one. See, that's how you can see where the bite happens. It's not that big. We'll take it as our first fish in the morning on the bug bait. A tiny little bass. We gotta start somewhere, right? This is probably the only top water lure that actually sinks. You know, other top water lure, you can throw it out there and just let it stay there. But this one, it sinks immediately. So before this lure actually hits the water, you're gonna start retrieve. Uh, keep this bait on the top water. That's essential fish this bass bait. You know, one of the things about top water fishing is uh, it can call out some very aggressive fish. You can cover a lot of water really fast. Uh, the key is uh, keeping it moving. We have all kind of vegetations just here. Uh, it's a very good place. Whoa, got one. That's a better fish, certainly. That's a much better fish. <laughs> Our second fish. That's what I'm talking about. This guy totally inhaled his buzz bait. See that? Oh, I'm gonna need some help. Hungry morning bass. Oh, got it out. Got our second one in the morning. Does not disappoint, huh? Here you go. Look at all these guys, this is very healthy green grass. Uh, as a bank fisherman, you don't have much technology to find the fish. Your best bet in the summertime is to go find the green grass. Where you find the grass, the big fish are nearby. The most important thing fishing the bus bait is that you can cast far. The castability uh, is very important to a uh, topwater lure, any type of topwater lure. Oh, that's another one. This is a good one. This is a good one. This is a good one. It's pulling our drag. This is a good one. Whoa, get out of here. This is an even better fish. Hook it on the top of the mouse. Whew. That gets my heart pumping. Let's go take a video of it. Wow, guys, check out this lunker. We're getting bigger and bigger fish. Look at all these fins, beautiful fish. Let's let this one go. Here you go. What a beautiful fish. Well, it just started raining. Uh, let's make this quick. Uh, castability, I think, is more important uh, to me, I mean, to a bank fisherman, and it's even more important to a uh, top water fishing. The extra distance you reach out there, you can cover more water, you can reach more fish, and it's just, uh, you know, this 30 pound line is just the best in the both world. Uh, let's get back to it. You know, buzz bait is really good for this kind of situation. You have a lot of uh, submerged grass. Uh, if you use any other type of uh, a top water bait have open treble hooks there. You're gonna grab a lot of grass on the way, but this buzz bait is really weedless. It moves freely on top of grass. 
you see that you know, bus base is really easy to work with once you get the hang of it. Uh, just start retrieve once it hits the wall. Oh, got another one! <laughs> wow, this is also a good one. This is also a good one. See that? They are so aggressive at hitting this. Wow, that's a big one. That is the biggest one today, for sure. Wow. All drag clicker is clicking. All drag clicker is ticking. Wow, see that? That's a nice fish. My drag clicker is designed for this one. Let's bring this one up. Oh, we got her. Oh my gosh. Look at this fish. Wow, that's a really sick catch, guys. What a donkey. I installed that drag clicker for a good reason. Our buzz bait giant. We got it down, man. <laughs> Let's get this one going. Wow. Wow, this one is so thick, man. Here it goes. That is so cool, guys. The first fish is a dink, and we just climbed up from there. We really did. A one pounder, two pounder, three pounder, and then a five pounder. <sighs> Gosh, we'll see where we go from there. <laughs> a six pounder, maybe? Buzz bait is the one kind of a bait you want to fish shallow, uh, either shallow flats over the grass patch or rock piles under the dog piles, something like that. Uh, right now, we are fishing the dog and the grass pile. Uh, these are the area that is best for buzz bait. I just noticed my buzz bait is swimming a little bit tilted. Let me double check the wire. You have to strengthen it just like a spinner bait. So after that big fish catch, I forgot to check the wire. You know, you have to make sure this wire goes straight to the hook. It's a little bit tilted. You just need to bend it back. Not a big deal. Some big fish are capable of bending these wires easily. So be aware of that. That's about it. You know, you want to make sure, yeah, that's right. You want to make sure this blade on stays on top of your lure. Don't let it swim sideways. Buzz bait is uh, really easy to work with once you get a hand of it. Uh, you just need to keep it up on the surface. You can burn it or you can slow it. You can burn it or you can slow it. That's pretty much it about fishing a buzz bait. It's really, really easy. Whoa, we got one. See that? You see that? That fish jumped up for it. That fish jumped up for it. Wow, that's a nice one too, dude. <laughs> Wow, big drag. Oh, that's a pike. Dude, that is a pike. We hooked ourselves a pike. <laughs> He's got hooked pretty good. This guy jumped out at this bait. We got a really nice pike. A beautiful pike hit our bus bait. This guy jumped out of water, take it. They are just so excited for the breakfast bus bait. <laughs> this Jamaica boa is a fish catcher, I'm telling you. In this low light, raining condition, this fish just cannot resist it. Wow, what a beautiful fish. Let's let this one go. You can go. Uh, this is a half ounce normal size of the bus bait. Castability is really good, but still this bait can roll slowly on the top uh, because of this head design. You see there's a missing piece right here. If you look very close, it's shaped like a cup. This thing will help push the bait up on the water column. So when you slow retrieve this bait, it can still stay on the top water. And also this blade curved from the very tip of it. Uh, as soon as this bait hits the water and you start retrieve, this blade will start turning. It's really good design and I have not seen this kind of design on any other bait. Let's get back to it. I'm just gonna walk my way along the bank area. I'll try to find a couple more fish. We already fished for... Oh, that's another blow up. Oh, he hit it again. Oh, he got it. Oh no. <laughs> that one is funny. I was trying to slow it down and have it grab it, but that's a small one. In any case. We have done really good so far. I mean, 
even though the bite stops, I'm good with that. But it seems like we still have some small bites here. It's just not much hookup. Right now the rain just picked up and we have a little bit of wind. This is the best tough water condition, I'm telling you. I'm really looking forward to more tough water bites. Oh, check this out. What I'm telling you, guys. Not a huge fish, but a <laughs> top water fish is just so sick. You can see them eating it. Not the big fish I'm looking for. <laughs> this is probably fish, what? I forgot. <laughs> We're gonna move on. I'm really not getting as much bite as earlier. Once you get hang of this bus bait, you're gonna love it. Oh, that's not a bad one. That is not a bad one. <laughs> he jumped out for it. That's not a bad one. Top water lure usually catches the big fish. Ah, oh, that's not a bad one. Come over here. Oh, oh man. Wow, it's just scratched my finger pretty bad. Hello, buddy. I've been looking for you for a little while. Wow, this guy really built differently. These teeth are really sharp. I got some gash on my uh, thumb. It's is ripping my thumb. What a healthy guy. <laughs> oh my gosh. This guy really ripped my hand. But I don't mind you. You can go. You know, most people would put a trailer on their bus bait, either a toad, a crawl, or a paddle tail. But this bait, you don't really need a trailer. This longer skirt acting like a trailer for you. It's really ingenious design. This propeller moves the water, have some water uh, vortex moving back towards the skirt. And this skirt just moving along with uh, water is, is like a wavy action under the water. Really, really enticing. Really good bait to uh, start your top water fishing. This is how I don't like summertime, all this algae is floating on the top water it smells uh, we just have to tread through this and find a new fishing ground you know top water fishing is really the key is to cover water you're gonna need to cover a lot of water to find those aggressive fish there are maybe a lot of more fish down there they just don't buy their top water lure it, it, there's nothing to do with how you use this lure they're just not ready for top water so you really have to walk a long way to cover a lot of water to find those aggressive fish to take your lure, bold enough to take your lure. That is just a game. Oh, that was a good fish. That was a good fish, he missed it. You know, that is also part of top water fishing. Maybe you can have like a five blow up and only catch one. It's just part of it. Don't get too demoralized. They're gonna come back again and bite it. Oh, oh, you do feel good. Oh, he missed it again. Oh my gosh, holy cow, did you see that guys? That fish chased my lure down, like all the way down to uh, the edge of the grass. It, would, it missed three times, but he still come after it, come after it again and again. Let's get him, let's get him. He wants this buzz bait. He really wants this buzz bait. Come get it, come get it. Right at the strike zone, come get it. You see that wake? It is him again. It is him again. He's right here. He is right here. Let's get him, boy. He can, he can grab our lure at any time. He's right here. You see that? We got him. <laughs> that is so sick, man. We got him. <laughs> That's a big one, man. He wanted it. I knew he wanted it. <laughs> that is so sick, man. <laughs> Didn't I call it? <laughs> I knew this guy's nearby. He wanted it so bad. Wow, this guy got hooked on the chain. We have to use the gripper. Otherwise, we're gonna risk our thumb. Wow, this is the sickest catch of the day, man. 
Holy cow. Wow, deer they can go. Something dropped my gripper. He chased over our bait so many times, probably failed seven times, and still chasing. My dad is a fish of entrepreneur. What a fish, man. <laughs> On the Jamaica boa buzzbait. Let's keep this coming. Whoa! Top water fishing is just so addictive. Guys, get up in the morning and uh, try some tough water. You're gonna love it. <laughs> Whew, that is what we like to see. What about another one, huh? Oh, got him. On the first go. Got him on the first go. That's not a bad fit. Whoa, that is a really good one. That's the biggest one today. Oh my gosh. We're gonna need to line this one. Holy cow. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is the biggest one today. Could be a six pounder, my gosh. This could be a six. Wow. Wow, let's get this one. I'm gonna go for it. Ooh, we got him. Oh my gosh. Look at this bucket mouse. What a fish, dude. What a fish. Holy cow. Incredible. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man, I scratched my hand. Oh, fudge. This is crazy, dude. Another donkey of the day. <laughs> we got a two five hundred in one day. <laughs> I've lost words, dude. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Just go out and pick up a buzz and start fishing, guys. What a fish, guys. What a fish. I thought it's a six, but uh, it looks like it's a five. Not six yet. But it's still unbelievable, guys. <sighs> Top water fishing in June. It can't get any better. Fish the edge of the grass line on a buzz bait. That's my success story. Oh guys, I forgot how many big fish I've caught today. It's amazing. It's been an amazing session, uh, best session this year so far. Uh, top water is really the kind of lure that can call out big fish. Today we did not disappoint. Another buzz bait caught has uh, three big fish. I think three fish over four pound. Uh, two of them are actually five pound. The buzz bait works really well in the low light condition. Those fish just follow their instinct and crush on it. I really highly recommend uh, you try this Jamaica boa buzz bait. Try it early in the morning or late in the afternoon. You will catch some big ones. All right, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Wait, what is that? I think I found a whopper problem in the water. <laughs> right here. Let's get it up. River to sea. I think this is still functional. It's been in water for a while. I can see from the stain, but uh, this is gonna work. A good catch. <laughs>